Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and I'm finally back from holidays. I had a wonderful time, but now I'm back into regularly posting videos on my channel. So let's start today with a new tonic craft kit. This is number 25 and as always it's packed with products. First of all you will get a regular jar of Nouveau Mousse, the color is Victorian blush. And here is what I do to make sure that Nouveau Mousse is not going to dry out on me. So here is a tip. Uh, you can remove that foil, but make sure that you don't throw it away. Now you have access to the product. You can use it any way you like with a brush with your finger. And you can see the beautiful color here. It is really nice and shiny. And then you can use that foil and press it inside that pot, making sure that it touches the product. This way the air that is inside the pot when you close the lid is not going to dry out the product. If you want to discard that foil, you can remove with a needle this plastic thing underneath the lid. And if you place it on top, you can see that it is a little bit larger than the actual pot, so I'm going to cut out just a hair all around that. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. And then it is easy for you to press it inside the pot, making sure that it touches the product and it will prevent the mousse from drying out. Now the actual idea here is to make sure that the air that is trapped inside the pot when you close the lid is not going to touch the mousse and make it dry. I hope this tip is going to be helpful for you. And let's move on to the rest of the products. You will get two pots full of uh, sequins. This is the Bluebell Hearts really nice and shiny and uh, the other one is pink tutu and these are sequins you can use those as uh, shaker elements for your shaker cards or as embellishments for your projects you also get a mini crystal drop this is a sample and uh, the color is shimmering rose you can see a close-up look on that beautiful color here you also get this box which uh, includes 10 windows and I'm going to show you later on how you can use those. They actually match the dies in the kit and you can create with them shaker elements for your cards and other projects as well as use them as windows for a lantern or a favor box. And if you love Nouveau tools this is a happy day because in this craft kit you will also get these Nouveau tweezers. Always handy to have on your table. And now let's take a look at the dies. Of course I'm going to stick the sticker at the front of my envelope just like always. And uh, you can already see how many dies there are in this kit. The, if you combine the dies you can create party favors, little boxes as well as a lantern. And it really depends on your creativity. There are lots of dies to embellish your boxes or to create uh, beautiful cards if you like to. And I'm going to show you an example of how you can put the boxes together later on. There are dies that cut out leaves and flowers. This one is a, a big handle. And there are also a couple of sentiment dies. And now let's take a look at the paper that you get. Now if you are familiar with tonic craft kits, you know that uh, you always get gorgeous cardstock, which is really difficult to cut it out. So you can see those blues here. This is a beautiful one with embossed texture and another one that's really gorgeous and the color theme is in blues and pinks here is a satin one a regular pink and this gorgeous foiled one with those roses now here is the main part for creating your boxes and you get three bases depending on which one of the bases you decide to use the box is going to end up bigger or smaller and this can be a box, a party favor or a lantern if you use the bigger one of the bases since it fits inside a tea light. Now inside that side panel you can fit in little dies and mix and match them together to create different looks. Now my style is more into clean and simple projects and that's exactly what I'm going to show you today as an example. However, you can see that there are plenty of dies that you can play with and you can create a really busy looking project. It is really versatile and it depends on your style or the style of your recipient. 
So I'm going for a party favor box today. I have uh, combined those two dies, one inside the other, to cut out my side panel. And I have also cut out the triangle as the base. So I'm going for the smallest of the boxes that you can create. Now I'm going to combine those two dies, one inside the other again. And I'm going to connect them with uh, purple tape, just to make sure that this is not going to move on me. And I'm going to cut out three borders, like this one, out of white cardstock. Now I'm going to use three of the windows that are included in the kit and I'm going to glue those down. They already have adhesive, so I'm going to use my book tool there just to remove that and I'm going to stick it on top of all those windows. Now you can still see the adhesive, but that's why I do have those white borders. I'm just going to add some glue all around them and stick it on top, which is going to cover up all that mess. And I am showing you here how I did one of those panels and I will repeat the same process for the other two. When you do the die cutting you will also get some scoring lines which I am going to reinforce with my bone folder here so I have everything ready to go. I am also going to use very thin double sided tape all around those flaps. It's really easy to put together, just remove the backing from all those double sided tapes and I'm going to stick the triangle at the base, go all around with those panels like so and then all I have to do is to lift them up and the box is going to come together like magic. Of course in those flaps you can use any type of glue that you like, you can use white glue if you want to. I always find it is easier for me when it comes to boxes and party favors to use double sided tape. But you see here I missed a spot so I went with my Nouveau Deluxe glue and it worked just fine. And I love how beautiful it looks already. If you want more examples on how you can put these boxes together you can go to the Tonic uh, Studio website, you will find lots of examples there. And hopefully you can imagine this window on top of a card with shaker elements behind it. Or you can uh, die cut windows with those dies and add uh, anything tuck inside flowers for example to make a beautiful card. Now if you notice at the top there are some holes which I'm going to use to thread some white ribbon. And of course you can add anything you like inside and tie a little bow. Now I'm going to embellish it a little bit more. I used the ties again from the kit and I cut out a few flowers as well as leaves. I cut out a bunch of them since you can uh, embellish all the windows all around. I decided finally to add only flowers on one of the windows just because I like clean and simple. But I'm showing you how easy it is if you don't have that uh, set that gives dimension on the flowers to just use your palm. And if you don't have this tool, you can always use the back of a marker. Now I'm going to use my white Nouveau Deluxe on top of one of the windows and I'm going to put together a little flower arrangement. Which I think it adds a cute element on my little uh, favor box. At the center of these leaves I'm going to stick one of the flowers and as an extra embellishment I'm going to use the crystal drops at the center to add a touch of pink. I absolutely love this party favor, I think it's so adorable. You can add inside candy if you like or like I'm going to do here, I'm going to add little hearts and these are actually soap. They fit inside nicely, they smell beautifully and I think they make a lovely little favor. And that was the project for today, I hope you had fun and that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for waiting patiently for me to come back from holidays. I promise that I will start posting regularly from now on. Here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today. Just like always you will find links to everything I used in this video down below in the description area. Thank you all so much for visiting and have a lovely day!